Uh, what's up, YouTube? So it was a story recently <coughs> of this family who was at their daughter's graduation. And lo and behold, they get kicked out of the graduation because the superintendent charged them with disturbing the peace. What kind of horseshit is that? All they did was say, you know, cheer for their daughters on their graduation their, their daughter on her graduation. So they now have to go to court and pay a five hundred dollar ticket because they dared cheer at their daughter's graduation. Now the superintendent of the school come to me in that situation, and I was a cop working the case in that situation. I would told the superintendent to quit wasting my goddamn time. But that family, they had the audacity to cheer for their daughter at her graduation. Okay, I don't know what the fuck, man, is people's problems. I really don't. Look, some people don't like graduation. I get that. You want it to be all done over with. You don't want it to be drawn out with all the excess clapping and what have you. I get that. But if someone's cheering for their fucking daughter at her graduation... Don't arrest them for disturbing the peace. What kind of fucked up horseshit is that? What you're saying, you two? All these glasses are filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Hmm. Look what he has when I... Glasses case. Hmm. Chris Ford just had it. Ah. Let's see here. Yeah. Where the... I heard about this and I had to ask myself this very question. This very same question. Hey, what the fuck? I couldn't imagine getting arrested for cheering at my. If someone in my family just graduated high school, which ironically did happen, you know, I couldn't imagine getting arrested for cheering at someone's graduation. Like, that is the ultimate. And bullshit. That is like the literally the ultimate in bullshit. And it's just ah, it's frustrating you too. The people on this miserably fucked up planet have to be like that. Tell you what, though, going to a funeral, you know, and seeing relatives you hadn't seen since you were a little kid, that's one of those things that's like, do you remember me? Um, no, I can't say that I do. And like, oh, you know, that's just the thing of it, too, is, uh, you know, all the relatives made the same comment, like, oh, Josh grew up. I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah. Well, Margaret Saunders is like a lot of women in my family. She liked to garden. That's for damn sure. I'll tell you what, though. Wife, uh, you know, looking at my problems and then, you know. Aside, though, aside, aside from all that, um, yeah, what the fuck? Could you imagine, honestly, getting arrested for cheering at one of your, one of your relatives' graduations? Like, could you imagine for a second if it wasn't high school, maybe, eh, you know, freaking, imagine if one of your kids graduated college and you were there cheering for him because, 
you know, completing education is a very huge, and I mean huge, part of it, of all around tradition and life in general. Some people don't complete their high school education, so they get a fucking diploma or an online degree of some sort, or online GED, fuck, I don't know. What I do know is I did graduate in high school, you two. I did. Barely. Um... You know, and I got some comments on my last video. People were saying, hey man, sorry for your losses. Stay strong. Your fans are here. And I appreciate that. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not easy losing two family members within a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But, uh... Tell you what, though. There's actually a Saunders Road here in Wyoming, believe it or not. That's where, that's where my Aunt Margaret had her ranch. And, um, uh, I haven't been there in a minute, but as I was driving back to Casper, I got the privilege of driving past it. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I got, well, I, I don't have it, but. There's a road in Wyoming that's got my last name on it. That's kind of cool if you ask me. I'm just saying. Most people, you know. But, um... Yeah. Tell you what, um... What song I played after I got back from the funeral. I sat down and had a couple shots of um, 99 Proof Banana, and I played Life is Beautiful by 6 a.m. That's a good song. Yeah. And, uh, one of those things, man. One of those things. I do know this. If I do have a funeral, I don't want anybody showing up to it. Straight up. Nobody at my fucking funeral. Fuck that shit. I don't care. I don't care if there's family of mine. If there's family of mine still around when I'm long gone in a casket somewhere. Fuck that. Just fucking stick me in the ground and be done with it. Well, actually, if I got my dream house built, I'd say put my corpse on display in um, a case of some sort. You know, and, uh, Turn my dream mansion into a rock and roll museum, but um, yeah. if I haven't made it to my dream mansion, then I'm um, just bury me in the fucking ground somewhere. Cause I don't care. You know, it's what you do in your life right now that's important. You know, and there have been people that have left greater legacies in their lives than I will have ever left in my life right now. I can tell you that much right now. I'm just keeping it real, you two. But, uh... You step into a graveyard that has over 200 of your relatives buried there. That's the kind of energy connection that you... It's, it's, um, yeah, one of those things. One of those things, YouTube, you can't quite explain it, but you know it's there. The energy connection, you know. Which, uh, you, I could feel it in my bones, YouTube. That's how strong the energy connection was. It was like, pff, damn. Uh, Gillette Cemetery has cameras in it and stuff, too. That's pretty, uh, pretty fancy. Yep. Oh, speaking of thunderstorms, Casper had an awesome thunderstorm that I conjured last night. It's pretty epic. Pretty fucking epic. I'm quite good at conjuring thunderstorms. I brought the clouds together again, so we might get one later on. You never know. But, um... <coughs> Yep. Shit. God damn. Hey, 
give a try not to cry at a funeral. That's almost impossible. I was doing pretty good on that, but then the singer started singing Amazing Grace, and it just fucking hit me. Got the King Cobra crying like a little bitch. Now, I didn't, like, go crazy, but I had a couple tears run down my face. This is what frustrates me about existing on YouTube sometimes. Is that if I convey emotion to you, people can turn around and use it to fuck with me. Now, like, last couple of years, one particular year, I got the news that my mom was on lockdown. My stepmom was in lockdown at the Casper College because some idiot had brought a crossbow to the Casper College and was shooting the place up with that shit. And um, I didn't know it was a crossbow. I just heard there was a shooting going on at the college and my mom my stepmom was on lockdown. And I made a video about it, you know, and I was upset by the news. I was worried for her safety. And I got a little teary-eyed. But then once I realized that Okay, my stepmom was okay. They got the shooter, you know, whatever. All right. So I deleted the video, but that's not the end of it. Someone then saves the video to their computer and re-uploads it and titles it Gothic King Cobra Crying Like a Little Bitch. That's the kind of crap I encounter on YouTube. And most people would be like, how the fuck do you put up with it? Because I have a very small audience and they... They come to my channel every time I make a fucking video, so that's why I do it, you know. And despite the emotional stress these last couple of days, you know, do the best I can to keep it together, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a Saunders and I got this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a Saunders and I got this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying, YouTube, you know, you know what I'm saying. I remember when I was a little kid, though, I stayed a couple nights at Margaret's house for visiting and stuff, and when I was a little kid, I had these obsessions with pipes, bubble pipes. I'd play with them all the fucking time, chew on them and shit, and now I'm actually old enough to smoke out of a real pipe. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Where's the pipe tobacco? There it is! Beats being out of cigarettes. And under this cherry liqueur pipe tobacco, it smells pretty damn good. Pretty damn good indeed. I also remember when I was in grade school, I made this uh, Mohawken clay cat. Gave it to my Aunt Margaret. Yep. And, uh, you know... I think if cannabis would have been legal, of course, I kind of bitched about this. I kind of bitched about that argument in my last video, so. You know. But, um. Yeah. And that's the problem with our fucked up society, is you get some rather large male like me showing any sort of emotion whatsoever society immediately tears you apart because they think it's funny just be damn lucky I don't find the fuckers who reposted that video if I find the, if I could find the fuckers that posted that video be damn lucky I can't but if I could I'd make them cry like a little bitch I'd film it on camera and post it on my fucking channel I'd be like oh how do you like it how do you fucking like it you know, but two wrongs don't make a right. So I'm better off just saying fuck it. That's part of being on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of gardening, oof. If I could grow my King Cobra's chronic, this would be the best tasting weed any pothead has ever smoked. One hit of that and it's just <laughs> gone. Yeah. But uh, this particular strain of weed that I'd like to crossbreed, it's going to take a lot of crossbreeding. So it, it's going to take at least a good 11 to 12 strains. And I've um, briefly talked about it before, but um, 
Only when it's legal would I be able to grow it. So until then, I'm just left thinking about it. A pipe dream, basically. Eh, all puns aside. And as a Luciferian, you know, I did feel a little bit out of place going to a funeral that was predominantly Jesus worshiping. But that day, it didn't matter. Religious bullshit aside, it did not matter, you know. But, uh,. I tell you what, though, I'm going to enjoy being young while I still can, because time is a slow but fast approaching bitch. Because before you know it, I'll be in my 30s, and then my 40s, and then if I'm lucky, 50, and then if I'm really lucky, 60, and if I'm really, really lucky, I might make it to 70. Might. I don't think that far ahead though, YouTube. I'm lucky to get through another two weeks. I'm happy with that. You know, I don't take it. I look at it as every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Another two weeks is gone. Another two weeks is gone. Next thing you know, it's, you know, shit, the year's, are, the year's already halfway fucking over. By next month, anyway. And that's crazy how time. It just uh, has a way of never ending, in a sense. Each second that passes is another second that's gone. Each second that's happening, as I record this video, is another second that's gone. Each second that this video records is another second in the past. You see what I'm saying? It's, just, it's also the second that's happening now and the second that will happen. Yeah. That's um. I got this though, you know what I'm saying, like, the losing family members sucks, you know, it's part of life, but, I got this. I was in strangely a good mood today, I don't know what it was, something just, yeah. I planted a peach tree seed out by the apartment complex. I don't know if it'll grow into anything. I highly doubt it. It's fun to try though, right? A hundred years from now, I'll walk outside. There's a peach tree. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'll live that long, YouTube. <laughs> Now the best thing I can do right now is just to make the best of what I have going right now. Even if I get comments on my channel and I quote this commenter said, your life depresses me. Well if my life depresses you then why the fuck are you watching my YouTube videos? So you know what I do with that comment? I report to that person for bullying me on YouTube. Oh, what the fuck, YouTube? You can't block people from your channel anymore? That's kind of fucked. I'm just saying, if any, any YouTuber will tell you that they don't want people harassing you. And the minute someone starts harassing me on YouTube for no apparently deserved reason, other than I just fucking upload a video every other day, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put up with that shit on my channel. Fuck that. But the fact that YouTube won't let me block people anymore, what kind of crap is that? And there's some cases where they only let you delete the comment completely, you just delete it from this video. Or report the person for bullying and harassment. But I have let the YouTube bullies get to me. 
because they're just spineless pussies in their basement somewhere trolling people. That's all they are, YouTube. That's all they are. Life on the bigger scheme is so much bigger than YouTube. I can tell you that much right now. I'm not the marrying type, YouTube. I'm not the marrying type. <clears throat> but, um, if I found the right girl in my life, I'd make it happen. <coughs> mm. No, Margaret Rohde, she married Lee Saunders, and they started a ranch together down on Saunders Road in Gillette. It's pretty freaking awesome. You know, what a legacy and a history can do. And that's just not not just me, but anyone, you know, any any human being doing something with their life, you know what I'm saying? Besides just sitting around bitching and complaining, you know? I don't just sit around and bitch and complain all goddamn day. Believe me, I don't. You know, I, I have a life outside of YouTube. No you don't. You drink and you work at Wendy's. Real successful life. It's better than nothing, YouTube. And speaking of drinks, god damn it, you know what sounds good? A fucking shot, that's what sounds good. I'll be right back, yo, too. I'll get to a point where it stops burning so much and I have to stop myself because I want to have some for later. If I don't, then I'm gonna want a shot, and then when I go to take my shot, guess what? I'm not a liquor, so fuck that. So, I've got to the point where if I get a bottle of alcohol, and I have a couple shots, and I get schnockered up, I'm good to go. I get to a point where I can basically put the bottle down and stick it back in the fridge for later. Therefore, I'm not an alcoholic. However, it's quarter beer night, and I found roughly 12 to 13 quarters laying around. And damn it, I'm broke as fuck, but a beer sounds good. You know, I love the sandbar. Awesome bar to drink at, you know what I'm saying? It gives me a chance to get out of the apartment and do stuff, you know. Like a lot of my family history... It's basically ranch hands and cowboys of sorts in this uh, in the good old state of Wyoming. A lot of my family history, believe it or not, my family was some of the first families, one of the first families to settle in Wyoming way back in the day. So my family history has deep roots in Wyoming, like major deep roots. Now, despite that, you two, despite the fact that I have very rich family heritage in Wyoming, you don't see me trying to act cowboy. And nothing against it if you are, you know what I'm saying? I am who I am, and I'm not going to change that. That's what I'm saying, you two. It's a life. Mm. Oh. <coughs> oh, that's yummy. And right now, being single, yeah, it kind of sucks. There's moments where it kind of sucks. But I'm attractive enough. I got that rock star bad boy suave about me that some women can't resist. Some women are turned off by it. They're like, who the fuck is this creeper? And some women are like, hey, this guy. Oh. It's probably like one shot left. Maybe. Half a shot. I don't know. Oh, I wish I had more of this stuff to drink. This 99 proof bananas is the bee's knees. It's quite delicious. Yep. Oh, believe me, there's a history of drinking in my family. I got some. I have some relatives of mine that are major alcoholics, and they look, from what I've been told, 
or heard stories of, they look like shit from years of heavy drinking. And, um, you know, I have my periods where I binge drink a little bit. It happens. But, um, oh, sad day, YouTube. That bottle's empty. One shot left right near. Let's uh, see. It's, um, according to my phone, 6.54. God damn it. This is so just about four hours still quarter beers. I should be all right. In fact, I know I'll be all right. I have this bottle in my collection. Yeah. But, um, oh yes, to my family heritage, cheers YouTube. I'll drink to that. Shots to set me just right. <clears throat> mm. <sighs> that 99 proof bananas is refreshing. <sighs> and 99 proof, it's basically 99 proof alcohol. Oh. If you're going to bury me, though, bury me with my guitars. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, I'm not going to die for quite some time, so no sense worrying about it right now. Like, why is my guitar not working? And I look down, and I'm like, oh, yeah. The fucking amp jack's not plugged in. The amp's not plugged in. Well, it's plugged into the wall, but it's not like plugged into my. Yeah, the other end that goes into my guitar. There we go. Whoa. Excuse me. Okay, now for the thunder clouds, for the thunder clouds that we have in Castle Wyoming. A lot of, um, 
a lot of my sixth album is played in drop C because drop C kicks ass. <laughs> Jack's messed up. <coughs> Sitting there trying to play some rad guitar for my YouTube audience, and that shit has to go and happen. It could be worse, YouTube. That's alright, though. I'll fucking worry about that shit later. <clears throat> but, um, you know, when you're out of cigarettes, this pipe tobacco ain't too bad, actually.
But yeah, Quarter Bears definitely sounds awesome. Considering I haven't been, you know. Yeah. And usually when I go to the bar, I'm not trying to start drama. I'm just trying to go there, have a drink, relax, kick it, you know what I'm saying? But some people, when they go to the bar, like to start drama. And, um, really? You know, the sandbar is a place for good times, and at the very least, you're not going to laugh, but good times and a good drink, you know what I'm saying? It's, and it doesn't matter what bar you go to. If you go into a bar to drink, go to a bar, have your drink, you know. Don't go to a fucking bar to start drama. Okay, I fucking hate that shit. But many a times I've witnessed a bar fight break out because some people are getting too drunk and too rambunctious. And it's like, dude! One time they bumped my table and spilt my beer. And I'm like, oh, you did not just, oh, 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 oh motherfucker, you did not just spill my beer. <laughs> I came about this close to getting up and whooping some ass. But I didn't. I took my knife out and began licking the blade. I took my knife out, opened the blade up, and I'm like, <sighs> with the blade across my tongue. Like, I'm the kind of person that will cut my tongue on a knife, fucking spit the blood into a beer and fucking drink it, and I'll say, let's fucking do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Don't even know. There's times I have to physically restrain myself from getting to that point where I don't care who fucking goes down because I get into those moments where where um I black out, some people piss me off and I black out and my fists start flying and people are getting their asses kicked and I don't care. Which is why, if I am going to Court of Beers tonight, I'll just probably sit at the bar. It'll make things that much easier. You know, 10 o'clock rolls around. And it lasts for a couple hours, so I don't have to chug through. I don't have to chug through the first 13 beers or so. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Pace myself a little bit. And I'll be doing alright. Something about quarter beers tonight just sounds just right. Oof. They say there's someone out there for everyone. But how is this for true love, you two? True love is when your significant other dies because you're both really old and you don't care because you're still going to wear your wedding ring because it meant something to you because you know when you pass away you get to get buried next to your significant other, and then you'll get reunited in the afterlife, and it's just awesome. See what I'm saying, you two? Yeah. Well, Lee Saunders passed away before my Aunt Margaret did, and she wore the wedding ring of theirs until her death, and that right there is something that we could all admire for a second. It's true love right there. Which, when you hear about stories about people getting arrested, when you hear about stories about people getting arrested for cheering at, for cheering, they were just cheering, cheering at their daughter's graduation, like, way to go, you did it, you know, the worst four years of your life are done, ha ha, and they get arrested for it, like, <laughs> fuck out of here with that shit. Well, you're allowed to smoke tobacco in the sandbar, but they have a strict no pipes policy in their sandbar at the sandbar. So, if I want to smoke, you smoke. I'll have to step outside for a minute. 
for a puff of my pipe. And I'll walk back in and order me another beer. And that's what it comes to. I'm alright with that. I'm not trying to start shit with nobody if I can avoid it. But uh, I get that, that I get that surge in me. Someone fucking pisses me off and tries to start shit with me. It's fucking on. I fucking don't care. I get that fucking rage built up, man. I'm just like, fucking let's do this. But you see the size of these fucking arms, okay? People got to want to start shit with someone with arms like this? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I'll I'll keep fighting until I'm until I'm fucking down. Even if the guy's four times my fucking size, I'll still put up a good fight. I'll still put up a good fight. I Cause there's one thing you don't do. You don't mess with the Saunders clan. We'll kick some ass and keep on keeping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I found the right girl in my life, I would consider marriage. You know. But right now, I'm in the midst of just kind of like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it's whatever. You know. I thought about cutting back on the cigarettes a little bit, maybe by like five or six packs on payday, and then spend the rest of it on pipe tobacco, because pipe tobacco is a lot cheaper and it smells nicer. And I, I do enjoy smoking a pipe, I do. Uh, what got me drawn to the pipe. Growing up as a kid, watching Disney movies like 101 Dalmatians, I saw Roger smoking a pipe, and I thought, and I thought to myself that was the coolest thing ever as a little kid. You know. I know um, when I stopped at the um, graveyard to bury my aunt, I carved my um, my name into a tree right by her grave, J-O-S-H, took my knife out, yep. Yeah, that cherry liqueur pipe tobacco is pretty tasty stuff. It's got a pretty sweet smell to it. Of course, every payday, I buy one carton of cigarettes. One. And I go up to myself, I said, that's my carton for two weeks. If you run out of cigarettes before then, oh well. Well, I'm not a fucking cigarettes, man. And I need some fucking nicotine. And there's pipe tobacco to make it happen.
40 minute long video, why the fuck not? Until then, this is King Cobra JFS with another video. And, um, stay strong. It could be worse, YouTube. Thanks for watching. And, uh, see y'all later. <laughs>